How do you feel when people mistake you for a legend? Hello guys, I welcome you all to Curiosity Made Me Ask. I'm your host, um, the Ubabi. People say lots of trash about my Igbo brothers out there. Uh, they say they don't have fashion sense. My guest today is someone that helps confirm and verify that analogy. <laughs> That's a big lie though. This is the part where you just introduce yourself. I need no introduction, it's 25 years. It's like after Lipopo, you just put a pause to making music. No, you stop listening to me. I never stop. So you've made other songs? A lot. Okay, maybe I should rephrase it. It's like after Limpopo, you stop making popular music. Well, I disagree. I diversify into other kind of sound. So maybe you stop listening. After Limpopo, I went into cultural sound a little bit. Okay, moving on. Will you do whatever it takes to entertain your fans with good music? That's what I've been doing. I've been taking a lot of bullets, trying to make sure they're happy. And so will you do whatever it takes to keep doing that? Definitely. That Even works. if it's to go back to your not-so-ghost um, writer? Well, That's, um, <clears throat> well uh, you don't need to mention any. I don't want to give free publicity to anybody, but I understand your question. Well, if God says so, it's only God that can say. Can I tell you a quick joke? Oh, very quick. Your jokes are always very No, very quick. This is, going to be, this is going to be very quick. You are not a comedian. You are not a comedian. You have never been funny. I'll tell you the joke anyways. Oh Lord, why? One Republic messaged you <coughs> for a collab. That's, that's the joke. How is that a joke? We, we both do that as a lie now. You uh, obviously paid them and begged them to be no. on the remix. Well, I don't need to say too much, but I can't pay anybody for a remix. Actually, I tried to pay for a remix hmm. like about, about eight, nine years ago, and they duped me about 70 something thousand dollars. <clears throat> and that was when I said I would never give anybody a dime for collaboration. So this came naturally after that while. Wow. It's not like I didn't have more money to pay, but. So you didn't pay them and beg them, you only begged them for the I didn't beg them, they, they messaged me. The truth is, the sound was very good. The sound was new, the sound was fresh, and a lot of people tried to hit me up for the remix. Anybody that knows me, I hardly do a remix of my hit songs. And most of my hit songs are always with me alone. <clears throat> so, but this one, <clears throat> when they came for it, I was like, where I be? And I had you were to like, You were shocked. I was. You were confused that way. I was. What did they see? Yes. Yikes. Because that's like a proper pop band or a rock band. So why would they want to send me a message that they want a collaboration of that song, a remix of that song? Even though no one misses you there. Hey God, who told you? I just hope you know that it's been long you've dropped any song that topped the chart. Not even the one you paid for the remix. Well, the truth is, a lot of people that top the chart, when they go for shows, you will know who paid for chart and who didn't pay for chart. Sometimes it's not about who is sitting on the chart. Do you understand? You can't tell some, an OG like me about chart. I know about chart. I know about paying about chart. I know about not paying for chart. So I don't care about paying for chart. I'm just one organic guy that doesn't give whatever about what the number is saying. I'm just interested in my organic or fans and audience. How do you feel? when people mistake you for a legend. <laughs> Sports betting isn't just about making money. It's about having fun, especially when you do it with N1 Bet. They offer the largest and widest selection of sports for every interest. They offer huge first deposit bonus, free bets up to 500,000 Naira, plus 300% anti-bonus up to 1 million naira they also offer 300% combo boost bonus for top sport events plus additional cash out feature for live 
events and pre-match events only on N1 Bet. The most anticipated match, Asta versus Bayern Munich, will be happening April 9. Bet with N1 Bet. Click the link in the comment section. N1 Bet offers fast and secure payments. Bet now and have fun. Anybody that says I'm a legend is not making a mistake. I think it's people that don't understand the word legend that doesn't see me there that I feel they are making a mistake. So you think you're, you're a legend? I don't think. Thank you. I don't even like that word legend, sir. Please, they should not call me legend. Legend makes you want to retire or sit back and chill, and that's not who I am. I know who I am, so keep the legend to yourself, though. Let's move on. We have to move on. Do you, did you ever try changing the name Casey Limpopo given to you by your parents? Like, I'm sure... Ah, uh, how can you say my parents gave me Casey Limpopo? That's not your name. No, that's the name I gave myself, though. That's my name. But the Limpopo is my song title. It's not my name. It's not my passport. Wait, you're telling me Casey is not your name and Limpopo is not your son name? Casey is my stage name. And I know you know. What about your middle name, Presh? What, where is that from? Ah! That's my former group name, so that's the name of my partner then, Precious. What's the idea behind you always covering your face with a particular mask? Is it a new trademark or you just don't want to traumatize people with your I'm good cute. look? I'm cute. I can't even argue that. So I don't even want to stress that one. You, you know, when I made the sound of the piano, I knew it was new. I knew it was different. That era, even before the other piano, I did a song with Skibi, Doom Doom. So I told myself I need to cover up my face, you know, just entertain my audience, my fans that have been following me for over two decades. You, you mentioned Skibi now. Speaking of Skibi yeah. and likes of um, Inyanya, yeah. you've helped people like that in the past. Yeah. I hope you still have a good rapport with them because you know they've made waves now and yeah. they are now your senior colleague. Hope they are not forming and not, you get me? <clears throat> You can call them my senior colleague. I know you are the one calling me that, saying that they can never say that. But out on the street that. of... Who's street? Street of where? But leave that. Even Skibi you talked about, my kids were telling me about Skibi last night. They were so excited. They were like, oh, they would like to see him again. Because Skibi literally bought them some new iPhones. You know, my daughter, my son. And they reminded me, they were like, oh, remember when Skibi bought us phones? He told us when he left that when he made his first money, he would buy us a phone. And that was actually what he did. And I don't think um, me and Skibi have ever had any issue or parted with a friend. In fact, this was piano. I wrote it with Skibi in the studio. Nyaya, we talk almost every day. Yesterday, we were chatting, so we're cool. It's so good to know they still reply you, though. Yes, they do. Online, you are known for betting and mostly losing. Oh, God. Like, you always make the wrong bets. I hope you are not betting on yourself. The only, plan I'm, the only bet I'm very sure of is myself. Some singers are known as award-winning artists. Some are known as back-to-back -back hitmakers. How does it feel to be known as just one very rich guy's brother? <laughs> That's provoking though, but it's okay. You think it's provoking? Yeah, it's provoking, but when I open my shelf of awards for you, when you see it there, you understand it. The thing is, the industry always try to downplay me, right? And when they try to downplay me, there is this energy that comes with it from the inside. I always put them, you know, make them feel wrong of themselves. And each time they sit back, they always tell themselves the truth when they are in their shower, when they are in their bed. They say, like, man, this guy is bad, sir. You mean your past tense I mean, or what? I mean past and present. I think I have new awards and I think I'm still going to get some more, trust me. Bigger ones than the one I've gotten. So there's something I need to clear. I read somewhere, Casey shot the video of Oja Piano for 230 million naira. Now I want to clear this. Hope it's not the same Casey that was accused of not paying the Parana people in that Oja Piano. <laughs> I, um, it's not the same, Sha. Because the same Casey I know that is sitting here, he's a giver and he likes to support and he likes to do the right thing. So I don't know the Casey that they were talking about. 
because I paid actually for everything for the banana you talked about. But what about the 230 million naira video? Well, I don't know who sponsored the video that gave the price for the video, but the video was quite very expensive. But I hate talking figures though. For anybody that knows my career very well knows I don't play with my music videos. One Republic messaged you. Yes, they are still messaging me, sir. What does your record label need to get to 10 stars? And most importantly, how did you guys get to five stars? It was with confidence and belief that we got there and we are beyond the SF. Now, I think you are very correct. We need to rebrand to 10 stars very soon because we are over five star. And I think we are, uh, that 10, let's say we don't pass ourselves. So know. you heard it here first. They're going to be working on the five star to probably two and a ah. half stars. Ah. <laughs> What should we be expecting from Casey? Hmm. Nothing good. No, hmm? there's something. There's always something good for me. Uh, they should expect music. The juiciest news I have right now is my album. My album is dropping in June. And trust me, I bet, like I told you, I can bet on myself. I can't bet too much with too much confidence on anybody. I think that's the best album that will come out this year. Among your faves, bring everybody. My album will be the best album this year. I asked God for that favor and He gave it to me already, and I'm too confident and excited about it. Bro, you, you don't want to know my faves. Your, the album better than my faves album. Don't. Ah, see, I promise you that 2024, <laughs> tell them to release an album in 2024. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, I'll let Portable know. That's my guy. I'm even thinking of featuring him on the album. This is the end of. Um, so soon. I know you. Can know. I interview you or ask you questions? I'm listening. Why are you always very aggressive? Why? Must you? Because now I'm sweating on that AC because you put me under pressure. I don't like it. I think I'm the nicest host ever. Never. Nobody can give you that tick. Because I know some people will be dodging your program. For $1 million, they might not even want to come. So. Between you and I, will I ever get to interview Imani? Ah, no, Imani doesn't do interviews. No. Only when he's 50. He doesn't need promotion like you. Okay, explain it. Ah. Thank you so much for watching this. <laughs> <day. laughs> Now, I'm me spoiler. Now, I'm going to find you trouble. And for don't let this see it, sis. Thank you so much for watching. Keep watching to with me, Axe. This is Casey, and see you on the next episode. Thank you. Oh, Thank you very much, everyone. Wow.